James Webb Telescope is the one to take the throne of the most advanced telescope in space after the Hubble Telescope. What major things did it discover with the improved technology, you might ask? Watch the video till the end to find that out. Hi there, welcome back to our channel. With the advancement in technology, the knowledge of science is being multiplied every day. With new things being discovered, mankind is going to face new challenges as the vast papers of scientific knowledge have been unfolded. Pluto, our icy neighbouring planet beyond the solar system, just exhibited an insane variability that shocked the entire space industry. With the advancement in the fields of technology, several telescopes have been invented which have always been a great help in studying outer space. One such example is the James Webb Space Telescope. This telescope is the largest and the most powerful space telescope ever built. It will allow scientists to look at what our universe was like about 200 million years after the Big Bang. The telescope is capable to reveal minor details of outer space which have never been studied or even known before. It can be used to capture images of some of the very first galaxies ever formed in the universe. The James Webb Space Telescope is an infrared observatory device that is continuously orbiting the Sun at a distance of about 1 million miles from the Earth. The purpose is to find the first galaxies that ever formed in the early universe. This telescope has also been used in the thorough observation of the stars and studying how they exhibit the planetary motion around the bigger objects. Isn't it interesting to make such a device that can show such minor details from space that have never been seen before? Is Pluto a dwarf planet? Well, many of them say yes to this because of the neighbourhood around its orbit. So they consider Pluto as a dwarf planet. It orbits in a disk-like zone beyond the orbit of Neptune called the Kuiper Belt, a distant region populated with frozen bodies left over from the solar system's formation. There have been a few trips that have led to some fantastic discoveries. These discoveries are sure to blow your mind and change everything that we knew about the planet. While Pluto was previously thought to be a small planet that is made up of ice only, with little or no life possible on it, now what has been discovered is way beyond what we have ever imagined. Scientists have just taken some stunning images of those features which have never been seen in our solar system before when they explored the dwarf planet to know how do the discoveries affect Earth. Could there be a possibility of aliens existing? Could the concept of a parallel universe be true? Join this video as we take a look at some of the James Webb's insane discoveries of Pluto. Pluto was thought of as some dwarf planet back in 2006 after the International Astronomical Union adopted a new definition of a planet. Here, Pluto failed to catch up with the requirements. Despite being very small in size, Pluto has a lot to see, a lot to discover, and still a lot to amaze. Its size is even smaller than our moon and less than half of the width of the United States. Pluto's five moons, the largest of which is Charon, are so comparable in size that they orbit each other like a double planet system. Pluto, after its discovery, was officially named the ninth planet of our solar system by the International Astronomical Union in 1930. Not a surprising fact, but it was named after the Roman god of the underworld. There is no wonder that Pluto was the first and only planet to be discovered by an American. It has since been renamed the Dwarf Planet because of its size. Looking at the landforms, the snow-capped mountains of this dwarf are way different than any on Earth. Oh yeah, that is insane. The tallest mountain areas have a height starting from 6,600 feet to almost 10,000 feet. That will make a height of 2 to 3 kilometers. However, these mountains are not composed of dirt or rocks as they are on Earth, but these are made from some huge massive blocks of ice. These blocks are sometimes coated with frozen gases which are mostly organic, the most common of which is methane. Apart from these types of icy mountains, Pluto also has to offer long troughs and valleys, with some of them as long as about 400 miles or 600 kilometers. In addition to some iconic icy mountains, Pluto drags your attention because of the plains it has got. The most prominent plains appear to be made from frozen nitrogen gas and snow. The craters here, along with these plains, do show structures suggesting convection or bulbs of materials that have been continuously circulating up and down just like the Earth. Pluto also has a hemisphere, but with a little twist that seems interesting. The hemisphere of Pluto is having considerably less thickness and to scientists' surprise, it gets closer to the Sun as Pluto moves farther away. Yes, it is really hard to believe that any of these things could exist on some other planet, but these things do exist on Pluto. 
The main gas here is nitrogen, but scientists have detected molecules of methane and carbon monoxide too. When Pluto is close to the Sun, its surface sublimizes or changes directly from solid to gas. Oh, that's not a new thing because we do have this sublimation process going on on Earth. But on Pluto, this sublimation gives rise to different and a temporary form of a hemisphere which is considerably thin. As for the weather, Pluto becomes much colder when it moves away from the Sun. During this time, the bulk of the hemisphere may freeze and it falls as snow to the surface. Imagine the hemisphere falling as snow. Pluto has an amazing series of features that remains yet unexplored. The main example is Tombo Regio, the unofficial name they give to the heart-shaped region observed on its surface. A part of its land is in the shape of an ice cream cone, but it is covered thoroughly by ice made from the dangerous carbon monoxide. Over the past years, this has now become an iconic identification as the heart of Pluto. In the middle of this heart-shaped Pluto, scientists have found another smooth region that they call the Sputnik Plenum. There are many different opinions about this thing here, each one based upon someone's research. But what most scientists have been saying is that this is relatively a young region and could just be about 100 million years old. This may seem old to you, but to scientists dealing with such, this is not a big deal. Scientists have observed a series of dark streaks that appear to be just a few miles long and going in the same direction on the surface of Pluto's icy plains. Could it be the not-so-friendly winds that frequently blow across the planet's surface? Well, we still do not have an answer to that, but surely this will become clear in the near future. And do not forget the lovely dunes on Pluto, which are only one of the planet's many surprises. Pluto might have lost its status as a planet, but remains a fascinating space object for the scientists who now have some really powerful tools to study it. One such insane invention is the James Webb Space Telescope. Where do we start talking about Pluto? It is a complex and mysterious world with mountains, valleys and plains, and many scientists hope to discover glaciers even. Isn't it fascinating? Pluto is only about one and a half thousand miles. You will get it when you will know that this makes only about half the width of the United States. Pluto also has the distinction of being the only planet that has been named by an 11 year old girl. It was only then when her grandfather forwarded this name to Lowell Observatory Institute, the place where Pluto was discovered, and also told them that this name has been suggested by my 11 year old. So this concludes today's video and we have tried to cover all the minor details that the James Webb Telescope has been showing throughout these years. This telescope has indeed proved to be a great invention and has revealed and unveiled the minor details and every small aspect that has ever been seen or studied before. We hope that you liked this video. Let us know in the comment box what you think about the James Webb Telescope and our little dwarf Pluto. We welcome your suggestions. Let us know other things that have been happening around this world and what you want us to explore. And if you enjoy our content, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell as well so that you do not miss out on any of our future uploads. As always, see you all in the next one.